imagine these guys have played quite a bit, only because they're from the same region. So it's one of those, like, not necessarily, like, the matchup itself is hard, but, like, you're playing someone that knows how you play as well. Right, right. Bro, I don't know why he keeps teasing this Terry, bro. He knows what he's doing. He, he's doing it on purpose. He's not, you're not. You're look, not he looks to the don't, commentator. Don't even look at me. Time. Don't even look at me. Just lock it. Just put, pick Ken. Pick Ken. Pick Ken. Don't look at me. <laughs> he looks to the counter desk every time, just to see our face. Like, like, oh man, they look so happy that I'm about to pick Terry. <laughs> look, guys, Terry gang. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, bro, that was so. That was so easy for Lumbre. Once he had no yeah. double jump. Yeah. That's the life of Ken. That is the life of Ken. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's tough sometimes. You got the world warrior, and then sometimes you got a, a kid with psychic powers that can just bully you. <laughs> it's not fun. This isn't his first time dealing with a psychic either. No. There's at least four of them in Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> this psycho power is just on a different level. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the matchup familiarity is definitely showing through with uh, Lumber right now. So interesting, because I'm pretty sure, like, or Nito is higher on the PR than Lumber is, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Lumber was like 10. Yeah, he is. But, I don't know, like, when it comes to the player matchup, Lumber seems to have the upper hand. I'm actually surprised. Well, I actually oh. had an opportunity to talk to Nito about this matchup in, uh, specifically. He was saying that it's all about knowing the angles of PK Fire, you know, dancing around PK Fire. But really, PK Fire has played a very small part of this match. Yeah. Well, he's getting a lot off of it, honestly. I don't know. It, it seems really rough for Ken to deal with because if he does it far enough, he doesn't get much out of shield against it. He can trade against it. It beats focus. It's better than his projectile as well. I don't know. It's really specifically about the angles, too. You know, the angles that that's going to be throwing him out, especially from the platform. Yeah, he couldn't even focus to land there, because that was like a free up there, but another grab. Yeah, pretty pretty strong game one for the uh, Lumbre. Not much to say other than that. And yeah. I, I don't think Terry does better in this matchup. I think we're just gonna see more of what we saw the first stock if he ever goes Terry. So I before you even bring it up. Yeah. I have Yeah. <laughs> or is Terry it was better, so you just see him more. <laughs> but then everyone would play Terry. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, all right. For at least a month. <laughs> at least two months. Then I'll get sick of it, I guess. Sure, after Genesis, people are going to be like, all right, enough of this. <laughs> What's this all Terry doubles finals? Yeah, so last game... Uh, Nito basically didn't have a first stock. Like he basically started the game at two stocks. Oh, completely erased. So there we oh go. Oh my! Oh, oh, okay. But Nito. this game, kick this kid off the stage. Get him out of here, dude. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why the S match just looks so disrespectful because he like punted Ness all the way to the platform. <laughs> He's like, get the hell out of here. It looks here. like his entire body weight to that kick too. Yeah. His foot was like the size of Ness's body right there. <laughs> All right, this game is actually looking nothing like game one. I don't, I don't know what happened to separate game one to this, but we'll take it, I guess. I guess Nito just needed a reminder of what horrible things could happen if he allows them to. Yeah, basically he just got right in Ness's face, bullied him to the corner, and just kicked him out of there. And now he's throwing out the short he gets, not even caring where he's going to land here. Oh, he was looking for that one to land. If that up air landed, that would have been a dead nest. Oh, no sure you can have shield, huh? All right. Yeah, I thought that would be like down to sure you can have shield. Oh, okay. Hey, up air connects. Oh, up smash on the ledge. Oh, it's gonna be another one. 
with Shoryukians are really adding up for Nito. Yeah. Oh man, caught the neutral get up. Now he's off stage again. Oh, you don't want that as Nito, but he gets to the ledge safely. Forward air. But, oh, another us oh, yeah, out of shield to punish him with Shoryuken. Yeah, free punish there for Lombre. Lumber is swinging for the downers now. He doesn't respect Kim's recovery at all. Probably shouldn't anyway, as Ness. Sure, it should be, you know, sharking with the PK Thunders, and then once he gets close, it's time to throw forward airs, back airs, nares. Pretty much any aerial he wants. Okay, standing roundhouse, gonna take the stock. One stock apiece, but 61 already on Nito. Whew. I'm looking for uh, Lumbre, once he gets a PK fire, to catch the jump out and just like get an up air, or a, a strong aerial in general. Or you just grab him, he's not even a match out this time. Yeah, the good DR is gonna keep Nito in the game. Couple jabs. Whew. Down smash? Nope. No, he's looking for the grab. Nice, yeah. got the focus cancel clean there. That's what and I mean, any aerial he wants is was the correct answer. Any of them. <laughs> Great stuff for Lumbre, up 2-0. Even with that super strong, like, almost zero to death from uh, Nito in the first stop. Sure. All right, battlefield time. This is it. King of Fighters, don't look at me. Don't look at me. You can look at me after you lock in, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, Terry Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay, ladies and gentlemen? Now, if this is any type of reverse 3 0 to happen with Terry, that, that'll yeah. be that'll be sick. Not only would it be sick, but the Terry Gang's gonna be real. Of course, I still think this matchup is garbage. Oh. Off stage at least. Oh, off stage is gonna be horrible. But until we get off stage, it's gonna be Terry Gang. Okay, that was actually a really good way down. Yeah, that was actually slick. Oh, dead? <laughs> All right, Terry Gang ain't looking too hot right now. <laughs> Who let this kid have this m amount of power? <laughs> All right, I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> Take off the headset. <laughs> it's not over, man. It's not over. It's not over. Unless Burn Knuckle. Actually, that Burn Knuckle is a really good first option for Terry. And it can kill the Oh, That's damn. Right, Take him out of here, bro. That S Smash, nice. if you're unaware. Does launch Terry a little bit forward, so be quite deceiving about uh, how far it'll actually reach. But cleaning up the sock, taking 79% crack shoot to power dive. Power dunk. All right, break up, guys. Break up, guys. Yes! <laughs> right out of the episode. Oh, caught the <laughs> jump. All right, it's go time. Oh, even into the fully charged. <laughs> Rising tackle. He Rising just did tackle. three moves. He just went up by like three Dude, that's, moves. That's all you need, man. Okay, we're gonna see back throw, but good DI. Living. Eat early crack shoot just to cover some distance. Uh, if you yeah, that yeah. was untackable too. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking like even if he does the the charge rising tackle with the invulnerability, it's not gonna poke through the stage. So really bad place you want to be. See a down throw, up B. Yo, yeah. this Terry is putting in some work right now. Yo, I'm telling you, man, Terry Gang. Oh, oh look at burn knuck over my cross stage. Let's go. Now reacting to it. Oh, the dash back F smash, dude. The dash back is, F smash is so good because you dash back with Terry and like there's, you're still faced in front of you. And like it's such an easy way to like get the whip punish. Like yeah. throughout a move, you dash yeah. back F smash. And then F smash is actually like huge for yeah. Terry. Yo, and wait. And he pushes him forward. Maybe you should have, you should have been listening to us this whole time, dude. Oh, Terry, Terry game from the start. Terry yeah. Bogard. Terry Bogard plus Battlefield is a dis a very destructive combo. But now we don't he we don't have Battlefield. He killed him off of three moves. I can't get over that. Buster Wolf, Power Geyser, Rising Tackle. What more do you need, Strides? What more do you need? <laughs> that was nuts. All right, is this the time of the reverse video with Terry? Oh, Crack Shoe unfortunately lands right in front of Lumbre. I'm looking for Lumbre to get these clean edge guards. Uh, surprisingly, it has not been a factor. Outside like that down smash last game. Man, the spot dodge attack has been quite useful for 
for Nito as well. I mean, we haven't really talked about it too much, but getting the shield poke, power dunk in a poke. Yeah, I'm imagining, I'm imagining uh, Nito does the input power dunk every time. Oh, of course. Yeah. You have to. Well, speaking of power dunk, he literally just died for it. Yeah, he, that was kind of rough. He tried to get like a, tried to cover the jump option from the ledge, the power dunk. But something that hoping we get to see from, from Nito is like falling Nary into um, burn knuckle. Yeah, that's that power dunk. That's a BNB for sure. Ooh. <laughs> I think that up smash is like five or six frames. Something really small. I think it's his strongest attack, too. Well, no, I think, uh, I, don't I don't know. Just the, with the speed that it comes out, it makes it very strong. Yeah. Probably his best out of shield option, honestly. Okay, early crack shoot. Oh, power dunk. All right, go time. Oh, my. The rare spike of the power dunk saving his life. And now he's got all the go. It's go to Oh! Okay, so that was actually a pretty good bait. It was, actually. Okay. Max Rage with Terry. Wow, there. what a crack shoot. Wake up, Power Dunk. Okay. <laughs> get that clean that's, heal. Let me get that. Right. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, I'm, that was a spot that was canceled to the rescue right there. Yeah. All right. I don't know what he was going for. They got kill percent. Surprised that um, Nino didn't go for Power Geyser after that because... It did, the spot dodge attack put Kumbre right above the platform. Yeah, and I know. Which it would have reached. Yeah, I know up tilt power guys is a combo too at that percent, but he didn't go for it. Very smart. Crack shoot is a great escape tool and applies pressure on the way out. Similar to Tatsu. Lumber is starting to bait up the burning knuckle too. Oh my god, that down smash was the street sweeper right there. Terry Gang's hopes and dreams crushed by the hands of a small boy.